Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Ultra Lord Show with you forever, the Ultra Lord, your mother's favorite producer. And I just want to thank you guys for just clicking on this video and just spending some time with me. I've been doing this Distro Kid customer care playlist on my channel right now because a lot of people who want to use distribution and stuff like that aren't really entirely sure how some of the features of Distro Kid work or how to monitor the things and see all that kind of stuff. So I'm making this uh, playlist for you guys so like especially with these most common asked questions and easiest ways to answer those questions obviously is for people who have actually gone through it and dealt with the the uh, distro kit before to answer it in my honest opinion so today i wanted to explain to you the differences between the label plans or the comparisons between the label plans or the big question is now which plan is would suit for you and why would you want to use them obviously not all of them are the, the same price i don't know if you guys were caught on the whole distro kit thing saying it's 20 dollars, but it's not exactly 20 dollars. but obviously when you get into those more nitty-gritty features it obviously costs more so let's just talk off with the musician plan which is the most basic basic bare bone plan that you can get as you can see compared to the the list that you get on these ones basically all you're doing is just uploading unlimited songs uh, you get your verification check marks on your social media platforms such as YouTube and Spotify and etc. But it's only for one artist or one band. So that's all you got. And what's worse about it as well, you can't even change the label name. You're going to get the most basic generic distro kid uh, uh, label name like DK, the date or whatever and stuff like that. And then blah, that's it. But then this is perfect for the people who if you are a up-and-coming musician or you just want to get your music to all these stores and stuff like that to help your youtube channel like i'm using i definitely started for on the musician plan for a year and i kept it on um when you're inside the plan though just be careful what you click in as well because if you use the things like leave a legacy or anything like that they will charge you extra money for all those other nitty-gritty stuff so just read carefully but if you're just uploading music to the to district kid and they're gonna upload it for you and send it to your stores the musician plan simple for you for the one artist now we're going to talk about the musician plus plan which is a little bit more money you get everything that you get from the previous one uploading unlimited times and the uh, social media check marks and everything like that but you also get your daily sales stats which is not accurate at all like rather wait for those two to three months when it gives you the full stats of everything but what's cool about that is now you can customize your label name you can customize release dates which is actually cool that you couldn't do over there but uh, me i'm more of the day i release is when i wanted all that kind of stuff customize pre-order dates which is also something i didn't really use didn't really see the need of using customizable itunes pricing um even with that option i kind of left it at the price where district kid recommended me to re uh, to release the music or the standard prices they did i didn't want to i didn't see the need to increase the 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 pricing that much i don't know i, I didn't want to drive off sales or anything like that so i kept it at um the, the the normal amount that they think and okay but anyway and collects your team earnings um it does the same thing in that musician plan is just now it's uh official now because there's more than one artist and yeah now with this one the musician plus plan what's cool about it is two artists or two bands so a uh, musician plus plan is very cool for guys who are like a um, rapper slash producer so you want to be selling your beats through distro kid or something like that which i'll make a video explaining that 100 percent. i don't want anyone taking me on like that but i use distro kid to sell beats i'll show you how i do that in the next video i think i'll put the link somewhere over there but um, now you can put two artists down or two band names or whatever like that so quite cool if you also you and your buddy you're saving a little bit you're saving what five dollars from 20 to 35 so instead of each of you getting that you get that and all the benefits and all that kind of stuff now the label plan is exactly the same as the musician plan like it's copy pasted it's just the only thing is now the number of artists that you can put on is just increases so now like i said you're saving quite a bit of cash the more artists are using on this label plan but here's a huge but the catches for all this is that the musician plus and the label plan does not work like a portal if you that's what you're thinking that each artist or each individual person gets their own separate um account if you can call it where they can log in with their own details and stuff like that the unfortunate side about these two plans is that you will definitely need somebody to actually manage you 
and manage your uploads and manage the money and manage all that kind of stuff with the credit card information and everything like that i highly recommend you do not give out the passwords you don't give out any of the information to get your um you might wake up actually one morning and your your music um, your music might be deleted or your um your money can be taken or someone can check out your referrals and stuff like that so with these two plans as cheap and everything they are they do not have a um privacy or setting which i really hope district kid can one day see this video and be like yo let's put like a little bit of a privacy thing on the on this kind of uh, platform when yeah we're using the musician plus or the label plan because like i said um everybody's over there i can give you a quick demonstration on if i go to my music uh, it's gonna load. So as you can see, this is not my song. This is one of the artists that I manage. This is my track, my track, my track, my track, and this is my other artist, my other artist, my other artist. So as you can see, we all on just one tab right here. So we have to all look at ourselves over here. And if you want to go to the bank, uh, I'm gonna show you my money. It's not really not that much. Uh, see what I mean? We all just put in over here. Yes, you can change the 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 artist name and the release date and stores and specifically you can check out all that kind of stuff but it really doesn't um like i said doesn't give you that um privacy doesn't give you that security and stuff like that everybody can see what everyone is doing everyone can see exactly uh what you call how much money everybody's making stuff like that and now the issue comes in especially if you're managing like a lot of artists which i highly don't recommend using the label plan is that now you have people who do not necessarily understand the terms and conditions of DistroKid and they want to do the things they want to do and they will make a huge mistake. Now I'm just talking about experience that happened with me that I was like stuck for two weeks without, uh, un I was unable to upload because of, like I said, the lack of uh, customer care service uh, or somebody to call to answer like about anything that I'm, I wasn't aware of or anything that I was confused about and all that kind of stuff is that now somebody in my team made a mistake uploading a song and the account got blocked for two weeks so i tried calling up uh, the the guys at distro kid i got sooner or later going through all the articles and stuff like that i eventually found out um i got a, 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 a email from somebody over there and i emailed them about my problem but luckily they were very responsive once they actually got to me and I understand there's a lot of people around the world that has the same problems and stuff like that. But once they got to me, we were able to sort all that kind of stuff out. And then I had to be a little bit more stricter about how people upload and who, when, when, and all that kind of stuff like that. But just to re recommend to you guys, if you're going to be using DistroKid and stuff like that, the two plans uh, that you would probably would want to use is the Musician and the Musician Plus plan. The downside about this is that it's very easy for one to upgrade from the musician and all the way to the label plan, but it's extremely difficult to go back down or downgrade your your subscription and everything like that. Yes, it is possible, but then it's required you to delete all your songs on DistroKid, delete the account, and then they'll refund you on anything like that. And then, but also remember to keep your RC codes that you get because now trying to re-upload with or use or reused RC codes is going to be a pain in the neck. So for now, that's why I'm I'm sticking to this label plan until the end of the year. I'm going to still upload all my music, but I'm going to print everything out as a spreadsheet and downgrade it. And downgrade it as time goes back to probably the Musician or the Musician Plus plan. Guys, if you enjoy videos like this, please do hit that like and subscribe button. And I also want to remind you that I'm giving a 7% discount on DistroKid if you want to get onto this platform and get your music out and everything like that it's the most easiest way it's very convenient and stuff like that district kid yes it has his uh, pros and cons and everything like that but if you're willing to work with it and if you're willing to um work with them especially you can really get your music career quite far and everything like that like i said it did help me grow uh, my youtube channel it did help me grow my uh brand awareness and everything in my area and stuff like that so like i said to everybody i highly recommend that you do look into some form of distribution whether it be district kid tune core a wall or whatever but just do your research on all of them and pros and cons and find what find out ways of uh, working with them and everything like that but like i said if you want your seven percent discount it is in the description link in the description and everything like that and yeah like i said if you enjoyed the video like this please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and everything and i hope you guys stay blessed check you out in the next one peace